Communique number 10 was part of the Devois Festival two years ago. We sent a theater in France 20 American plays. They sent us 20 French plays. I translated Communique and directed it for the festival. When I was working on it, I, I loved the writing. I thought it was a, just a beautiful, beautiful play. The way Samuel writes it, he doesn't say it's happening in France. He lets it be almost like an unknown city in an unknown future. It isn't just a few days of protests that are eventually quelled. It's a riot that looks like it might overturn the government. Leave him alone. He can't give you any names. He's our youngest brother. If you keep him detained in your stinking prisons with your stinking laws before your monkey judges, watch out for our response. We are giving you two hours. The main character is named Hassan. The play is about Hassan trying to find out who it was that killed his brother. The building, the wasteland, the road, like our six years old who says one day to our father, don't you work enough or what? We never go on vacation. And this laugh he got. And my mother shame, her face turned to the window. Sir, they say to me and they give me a sack of his things. My name is Hassan. I'm 28 years old, I exist. I'm the brother of Lakhtar. It becomes very, very intimate. And you really care about all these characters who are part of the protests and parts of the riots. The night passed by the window panes and I watched the window panes passing by in the city. All this silence in my veins like lead. I think what's wonderful is that this play really puts a face on income inequality. The difference between the haves and the have-nots in this country, especially in San Francisco, is, is pretty extreme and it's getting more extreme. The themes in this play really make sense and it really delves deeply into the stories, the feelings, and frustrations of people who feel like they're on the outside. At the end of the day, it really gets at the humanity of these people.